come to Bethlehem and see Him whose birth the angels sing Come adore on bended knee Christ the Lord, the newborn King Welcome to Back to the Bible. Today's topic, Gabriel, the messenger of God. God had not sent an important message from his throne to earth for many years, but the silence would soon be broken. God's special messenger, the angel Gabriel, was standing in God's presence awaiting his order to deliver some birth announcements. A great deal of excitement and rejoicing must have taken place around the throne. The first announcement was to Zacharias, a Jewish priest who was offering incense in the holy place. Gabriel may have appeared to him as he is described in the scriptures, clothed in linen, his loins girded with fine gold, his body shining like beryl, his eyes like lamps of fire, his arms and feet like polished brass, and his face like lightning, or he may have appeared as a man. His message to the frightened man was that his wife, Elizabeth, would give birth to a son in her old age, and this son would be great in the sight of the Lord and would be the forerunner of the Messiah. This is the first mention to anyone on earth of the soon coming of the Son of God. Gabriel returned to heaven. There he waited in God's presence for his next assignment. It came in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy. Another birth announcement was to be made, this time to Mary. What a scene there must have been in heaven as Gabriel accepted the message. The angels who longed to look into all the things concerning redemption knew that this was to be the most important message ever delivered to earth. They stood in waiting. Gabriel fulfilled his commission, telling Mary, the young virgin chosen by God, that she was to be the mother of Messiah. Were Gabriel and the other angelic beings sorrowful when Jesus left them? Were they crushed when they learned what Christ would have to go through? Or were they so intent on doing what God had designed them to do, to carry out God's eternal purposes, that pleasing their Lord was their only concern? Verse for today. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Revelation chapter 5, verse 11 and 12. Your step for today. Imagine the scene at the throne of God in eternity. Can you picture yourself, along with other saints of all ages, giving honor to Christ? Do you long for this? Write down what you think or feel about it. Prayer for today. Ask the Lord for a longing for and certainty of an eternity with the Lord in the company of angels. God bless you.